All right, on this recording, we'll follow we'll follow up or finish the the round circle interface here. So you can see this is obviously not a circle, but with our subdivisional, uh, we'll be able to make this into a circle. So we're gonna go ahead, make sure this is object mode, and we're gonna go modify, convert, and convert this to a subdivisional. Go ahead, right click edge, and oops. Now I want to go ahead and go to four so I can actually see through this object. What we want to do is be very careful, not select these uh, angles right here. We just want to select these edges, the box part. It's very important that you do not select these uh, angles right here. Okay, just kind of look around. It's very easy to do. All right, so we've got them all selected. I'm gonna go back to five mode and go to my subdivisional surfaces. I'm gonna do a partial crease, one. And you start to see the uh, changes, two. And I think that's probably good enough. We'll go back to object mode. All right, so you can see the rounded surface, did a little dimple. So we'll go ahead and convert this back to a polygon. All right, so we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this down nice and snug. There you go. Start to look like a iPod shuffle. All right, some of the problems that I see, this is perfect, but you can see that I screwed this up and hopefully we'll re-record this, but this was rounded here and it should be a full crease just like that. So those are some of the things that you need to be aware of. See that this is nice and rounded here, but again, this is incorrect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and create polygon cylinder. And let's see what we can come up with. All right, so we're gonna make a nice little cylinder. And this is gonna be where we put the ear jack. I'm gonna spin it around and we're gonna do is cheat a little bit. We're gonna make the, sure our rotate Z is exactly 90 degrees. All right, hit W and go ahead and put this into uh, position. Hit R, squeeze it down. Don't be afraid to make it long, okay? Pull this up and over, hit R, squeeze this in. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can't go top or side view and make sure it's dead center and all that. I'm just kind of rushing through this right now. Okay, hit R. Squeeze it in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit Apple D and pull one of these guys out. All right. So now what we're gonna do is use this guy to punch a hole. So we're gonna hold this, shifts like that. And we're gonna go edit mesh, which we already have out. And we're gonna to go to Boolean and punch a hole. I think it's actually in, in mesh, not edit mesh. So we're gonna go mesh, go Boolean. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off so you can see it. We'll probably be using it a lot. And we're gonna hit difference. You can see right off the bat, this punched a hole right into an R object. All right, now we're gonna put this back into place. And again, it should slide perfectly in there because it was uh, in the same original position. So we're gonna squeeze this in just a little bit so we're gonna make a hairline fracture. So this will sit in there like so. Go ahead and go to face. Select those faces and we're gonna extrude. Hit R, I'm gonna squeeze this in, extrude face again, hit W, and push it back. So now I'm gonna go object mode. There you go. Now I think I screwed up. I'm gonna Apple Z this a couple times. Okay. So I I screwed that up. I need to go ahead and click this for a check mark to keep faces together. And you can see when it extruded there was uh, sections in here. Now this will extrude it as one unit. So I'll hit extrude R, squeeze this in, and extrude one more time, hit W, 
and then make sure you use your arrows and pull this back, way back. All right, we'll go back to object mode. There you, there you have it. Now we may want to squeeze this out just a little bit bigger. R W. Does that have a perfect little hairline fracture around it? There you go. There's your iPod shuffle. All right, that's the end of the recording. Hopefully everyone can get this done by the end of class. Again, we'll do it again, your second try, and this time you will do a full crease instead of a partial on this corner. But that's your iPod shuffle.